End of an era for Wild Hockey. Zach Parisi and Ryan Suter are now free agents after the Wild's decision to buy out the remainder of years of their contracts. Now, the two have played nine seasons with this team. And sports director Jim Rich joining us live with more on why the team made this decision. And Jim, you were only you were uh, the only one to talk with Parisi today. So, what is he saying? Uh, he has a lot to say, Kelsey. Nine years ago, when Ryan Suter and Zach Parisi signed identical 13 year contracts, everyone knew the ending could become messy. And today, it did just that. The Wild buying out the two one time superstars and absorbing a massive salary cap hit that could have crippling effects in the years to come. Wild general manager Bill Guerin held a press conference this afternoon and he called both players this morning informing them of the team's decision. He said there were no other conversations about possibly waiving their no movement clauses or possibly trading them away. Guerin said he wanted to have a clean slate and he felt this was the best way to do it because he knows this team isn't where they want to be yet. You have to try to get better. We are trying to win. And we have to try to improve all the time. And sometimes it takes very difficult decisions to do that. It's not, it's not okay to be where we are right now. We saw great signs this year. We saw great signs. But we're not, we're not there yet. And we, we have to continuously try to get better and try to build a Stanley Cup winning team. Do, do you Meanwhile, Zach Parisi and Ryan Suter now have to move on. And for Zach, it's extremely difficult after coming home to play in front of family and friends and following in his father's footsteps, who played for the Minnesota North Stars back in the day. This afternoon, I spoke to Zach, and he said it's a bit strange to see him and Ryan come in together and leave together. Yeah, that's a little bit of a shocker. Um, I, when I found out about Ryan, I was really surprised um i did not see that one coming um you know same thing ryan played great hockey for this team um you know the guy's a top four defenseman um and so he's going to land somewhere and, and and be a huge part of another team it is a little bizarre for it to start together and then end together and um but you know like i said earlier both of us are going to be excited about um about what's going to happen next are you going to sign together again? <laughs> he already brought that up. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see where these two head next and whether they do remain together. They certainly did a lot here for the Minnesota Wild. When they came in here, the team was floundering, not making the postseason with any regularity. When they got here, the Wild immediately became contenders for the Cup but were never able to get over the top. Zach also wanted to thank all the fans, all the workers at the XL Energy Center, and all the people that supported he and his family during his time here in Minnesota. And he says he will maintain his residency here in the state. And also, Kelsey and Amy, he says he has plenty of more hockey to go in his mm -hmm. career. He said, quote, I got young legs. <laughs> he, sure does. he does. All right, it's great to hear from him, Jim, yeah. and uh, it'll be interesting to see what the next chapter brings. Yeah.